Mike, are you shivering in your timbers? I can't believe his timbers are shivering. Oh man. Oh me oh my, I'm quaking in my custom baby seal leather boots. Oh no, <laughs> not the spin of doom. What is with what is with new Nintendo monkey characters spinning for their attacks, you know what I mean? Good question. My god, his crotch is on fire. <laughs> Do you see how much damage I just did to this poor sap? Yeah, it's shown oh. through his eyes popping out. Wow! Oh, Jesus Christ, he's gone. <laughs> You're right, fire is busted. What the fuck? I just vaporized the poor bastard. Oh, I think I, there's something around here, isn't there? Considering you froze him, like, before the last time you encountered him, it's like... This person can't catch a break. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> first death by fi first death by ice, now death by fire. <laughs> These were sad times for the apes. <laughs> we shall rise the planet of the apes. <laughs> hey, that would actually work if he was like the leader of the beast pack. Would have been like, this shall be the planet of the apes. Have you guys ever seen Planet of the Apes? Like any of them? I've seen the the old one, and I've seen the like uh, the first one and the second one of the new ones that came out. I have seen exactly none of them, but I want. I know the one was made by like uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Tim Burton. Was that the old one? Yeah, no. I think, I think there's like two old ones. Like the first one's my, like entertaining, you know, Draco Malfoy's in it. Oh, really? what? Guess, the classic is, uh, yeah, he's, he's the one harassing the gorillas. He's, like, putting a taser to their cages, and then they, like, use it on him eventually. Like, uh, uh taking down the bully. I see. And, and, and it's, it's, uh, but yeah, if you see the old 80s one, it's a classic, but it's also kind of feels, like, long or in some parts. So if you see it, it's just to get the references, like, the, you maniacs, you burned it up. Like, and, like, uh, you damn dirty ape. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm like, I, I, I drag comfort because I'm like, good thing apes can't do that in real life, haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, probably there was a thing where, like, a monkey used a, uh, recently used, like, a, a, a rock to break the glass in its, uh, in its enclosure. And it's like, apes have now entered the Stone Age. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> They're only a couple more centuries before they catch up to us. Yeah, right? Oh my god, Silly Dillo is, like, already almost on death's door. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, a, a friend. <clears throat> well, I mean, fried ar armadillo, is a, it has to be a culinary dish somewhere. You say that, but I'm pretty sure they're, like, impenetrable. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, that one where, like, uh, someone shot an armadillo and it ricocheted and hit the guy? Yes, good. <laughs> I'm glad. See, it's always weird that uh, no matter where you go, depending on where you live, you have, like, different pests. Yeah. You get, like, in the parts of the U.S., like, the down south, you got, like, your scorpions, your, your, your snakes. Yeah, Here, seriously. We got, we got, like, gardener snakes, uh, coyotes, and, uh... Birds, spiders, all that. Yeah. It's just crazy. <laughs> now in all now in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a the highest per capita of any area that has like the most animals per square inch that wanna kill you. I was talking about pests, I jumped to Australia without even talking about Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Where they have fucking alligators. Yeah, but apparently, it, it's, again, the, the amount of pests match the amount of people, you know. Yeah. Because otherwise the crocodiles would have won over if it wasn't for the Florida people being able to grab a gator by his neck and fling it away like a pest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually that makes sense. The pests that you get around your area is in relation to the people that live there who can right. handle it. Like, I couldn't handle a scorpion. Oh, well, who could? <laughs> Oh, you're burning the cat? I literally burned her alive. 
<laughs> Was there only three oh, members of the Beast died. Pack? Isn't it, isn't it all the members of the Beast Pack? Or is DDD next? No, I think I DDD like has DDD's his dead. own stage, right? I don't know. I know it's I'm DDD, but isn't there like That's a leader? Fair. I don't know why you guys would know. <laughs> Do either of you have this game, or? I just got it. Ah, okay. I was planning on getting it, but again, I was trying to keep myself spoiler free to, to for the authentic. I wanted a, a, a clean reaction to this. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> I blazed through this game in like a week. You know what? I don't have a problem with this Kirby, except what is this? Rocket Rocket B? The roller coaster B? Roller B! Uh, except he's got like a, a, a fan coming out of his ass, so. Uh... Well, that's the rocket. The motor? <laughs> that's the propulsion system, Mike. <laughs> the propulsion. It's the How same fitting. propulsion system I use. <laughs> Do you two have a fan in your ass, Chris? Uh, you're not going to find out. I don't think I want to find out. <laughs> Good. We, all we can do is take your word for it. Good. Good. <laughs> don't. Okay, Joe, I won't. Good. Don't. Uh, Please spit. Oh my god, there was a... Uh, I was reading a story from Disney World where this... um. So this couple thought it would be a good idea to like... Do a blowjob on Pirates of the Caribbean. And the guy had... The, guy, the security guy had to watch him because there was... Uh, because, you know, he's on the security cameras. And had to watch when she was done, she was going to spit into the uh, into the water, which is a huge like biohazard thing. So they'd have to like drain the entire ride. They'd have to uh, they have to like scrub the whole thing. It's a huge, the huge deal. So the guy like over the intercom just uh, unprompted yells out like goes like spitting spitters are for spitting is for quitting. Like spitters, spitters are quitters, and then he just watched her swallow. <laughs> that that is an extremely bizarre and uh, yet clever way of handling the situation. <laughs> I can't imagine how embarrassed I would be if like that was me who had that like come over the intercom. Well, if I mean. If you didn't want to be embarrassed, don't give a blowjob. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, like. that's what I'm thinking. I mean, how could you? I, it's always bizarre if you do that in like public places or just anything like that. Yeah, I don't get like, that. I don't get like. I don't get like that idea in general. You know, like. I get how it's pleasurable for one part, one person, but it's... Oh, yeah, the, the, the thrill of getting caught or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. My th I read that apparently it's gentlemanly. Like, if she, ge <laughs> if she gives you oral sex, you have to reciprocate. And I'm like, yeah, okay, since if that's the case, she can just not do that because I know for a fact I can't. <laughs> Does that? She's like, you got to do it back. And she pulls out a rule book. He's like, oh, shoot, you're right. <laughs> for law. Because like I gag at the sight quality. of like at the sight of a steak. Like, can you imagine how that would work? Yeah, with your sense of taste, probably would be difficult. Not what well, it would not go well to say the least. Dude, you, you, I just thought I was thinking about your sense of taste and the fact that you in your campus you had a, a steak and shake, and I was like so super jealous. Yeah, it didn't even last very long. It lasted like a semester at t at most. Did you know that apparently uh, my brother was telling me that when he went to CLC that there was a Giordano's pizza there? Really? Oh. Yeah, and then he took it down like years before we came in. Those bastards. That made me we could we could have been we could have had pizza. <laughs> well, they we did have pizza. They just weren't very good. <laughs> it just wasn't very good pizza. No, yeah, we had their pizza. College provided pizza isn't actually yeah not even the, the when the businesses set up shop there they still have to use the resources around them I don't know if they get uh, their own company's food or materials to work with but somehow if you get like Starbucks or something from a, a college campus it's kind of worse than a regular one interesting 
Or that might just be my observation. I know I had, uh, so for a while I was like, why don't they have, like, they had a pizza stand at Southern. In, inside the cafeteria, I'm like, why don't they have this working? You know, college students love pizza. And then they eventually did get it up and running. At which point I tried it. Like, I, their pizza, honest to God, sucked so bad. Because the crust Are was like... Who's pizza? Huh? Who's pizza? The Southern's pizza. Like, they had their own oh. pizza that they made for the, uh, for the students. And it was awful. I, I can't say I'm surprised. Because, like, the the crust was too soft, the cheese wasn't, like... The cheese wouldn't stick to the, uh... To the, to the bread, so, like, you take one bite, it pulls all the cheese off. <laughs> no. Just... Like, yeah, I... I but we never grew up with, like, uh, like the college cafeteria stuff and, like, grace. Yeah. Everyone complained about the food. I never got that until I reached college. Or apparently, at least for my college, the cafeteria food's so bad, the food service is literally switching. <laughs> it's actually, I didn't even know that food service was actually, they provided the prisons as well. Oh! Yeah, and I, and I, was, I, was, I was super cool with it, even, I think they, they put like a, a Philly cheesesteak that was like soft bread with like cold, tasteless meat and like nacho cheese on it. Oh. And I still was cool with it, up until someone like, like and a toenail in like one of their foods, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I got, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Justifiably so, because that's disturbing. <laughs> that, that, the, the toenail, that was their signature, their little finishing piece, like a, <laughs> like a little cilantro or a <laughs> piece of parsley. <laughs> and they're just like, well, I thought you'd like it, so. Have that's you guys heard of the thing where it's like, uh,. There's like a, a genetic thing with cilantro where so, just some people just taste like soap. Really? Like yeah. Some people taste like That's cilantro. Soap. Yeah, I have. I ha I think I actually have that problem because I give cilantro to my lizard, and when I'm if I if I like after I done ri after I'm done ripping it up, if I smell my fingers afterwards, then it just smells horrendous. <laughs> I know it's got like a, it's got like not a spice, but it's got like a certain zesty flavor to it. Like a tang to it, yeah. Yeah, that's why we use it. I uh, make guacamole. We put the tomatoes, we put the cilantro, we put the the, the avocado, we put the seasoning. But uh, yeah, I didn't know other people. It tasted different to other people. Yeah, it's a genetic thing I've heard about. It's weird. <laughs> tasted like salt. Maybe those people also didn't wash the <laughs> wash the cilantro. <laughs> No, they probably did wash it, they just didn't wash off all the soap! Yeah. But yeah, no, I speak from experience. Tasted awful! When you were starting to tell me that, I thought it was, uh, uh, you're prepping food for Ziggy, and then you started trying the, the food, and then they were like, that's my dinner. Yeah, right? She's gonna be like, uh, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> uh, uh ah! can I have some? Is for me. It's like one for you, two for me. Well, that's Bartok. Is that where that's from? Uh, I mean, that's it, it. It was in there, that's for sure. I wouldn't say it's like from that, but it's de it was definitely a joke that was in there. I'm always reminded how like you know Looney Tunes are like reused jokes. Yeah. But, I mean, it wasn't, like, annoying. It was, like, still consistently funny. Well, you know, Bugs Bunny, like, unintentionally... Unintentionally made people think that rabbits like carrots. They don't? Oh, is that... I know that they don't. I didn't yeah, they... realize that that was specifically a Bugs Bunny thing. Yeah, because the... Bugs Bunny chewing on a carrot is a, is a reference to a Clark Gable scene from, like, some old movie whose name escapes me. And, uh, but yeah, they, like, carrots have, like, n give no nutrients to rabbits. Like, if you yeah, feed a no, rabbit rabbits... only carrots, it will die. <laughs> yeah, they also just don't like them that much, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're, they're more like a, they, they prefer more like leafy greens, you know? Yeah. Like Damn, cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and the, um... 
See, and Bugs, it was yeah, a reference to like a, a scene of Clark Gable saying, What's up, Doc? And uh, yeah, it just kind of became Bugs Bunny's thing. And another instance well, of that is uh, apparently Nimrod is the name of a uh, of a biblical hunter, and yes. Bugs called Elmer Fudd Nimrod because he was like sarcastically comparing him to the hunter. But people just kind of thought he just was calling him an idiot. So no, not not so a that hunter. One I didn't friend, know. Uh, I I totally thought Nimrod was just slang idiot. Dimwit. Well, now yeah. it is. <laughs> You know, it's also it's relevant to this. Relevant to this, I love that uh, Kirby uh, used to be like a manly name. Yeah, seriously. Yes. And then Pink Boy. Then our pink brother in Christ came. <laughs> yeah. Have That's you guys seen that? It was like a. This is a meme where it's like, like my brother in Christ. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of it. It'll be like. Speaking of brothers in Christ, my brothers in gaming, how are we doing on time? Uh... Oh, we're out of it. So... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll good have to... Eye, Eric, we'll good have eye, to... We'll have to... <laughs> I was focused on things. All right, guys, we'll have to finish up the Beast Pack's final stand next time. Next time.